the halves, Brooke and B. Harrell, and up front for Keithley today, their forwards. We can see that um, Emmett binds them all together at loose forward. Rawlings and Sagar in the back row, and, and in the very front row, Scott Law, Nathan Conroy, and Matthew Bailey. And on the bench for the Cougars, Aronson, uh, Trey O'Sullivan, on loan from Batley, James Feather, and Gavin Reed. And this is the way uh, the Wolfpack are lining up. To Gagai, the fullback, three quarters, Panel, Worthington, Hall, and Kay, Wallace and Braley. A very familiar back lineup and a very familiar front row as well. Fui Fui, Bezik and Emmett, Whiting, Lathwaite, Bussey uh, binds them at loose forward and on the bench. We will see Jax, Fleming, Crossley, and Sidlow. Referee today just holding up the game, Mr. Sweet, about to get us underway here. It'll be Keithley in their green, white, and red to get us underway. And Toronto, in that, again, familiar black, will be getting possession in the early stages. Decent crowd here as well, just looking around. Good I think crowd. it's a little bit more than we had last time we were here in the league. It's uh, Biharol who puts the ball high in the air. It's uh, Toronto who have the first touch of the ball. And they're running slightly. There's a slight there camber is. here, isn't there? They're running downhill, Toronto, in uh, the first I would half. hope you'd mention that for our viewers. There's there is a genuine slope that Keithley played particularly well as well, and they love going down the hill in the second half. It's a very Yorkshire thing, isn't it, a sloping ground? Here's Lathwaite. Batley's the one with the biggest slope. And they've got a penalty straight away of Toronto. So a couple of carries in, and they're already with a chance of getting it out of play. Here we go. Well, I think, the ball collision. I think uh, Briley was taken off the ball, wasn't he? So there we go. Tap restart. Hall with it. Looking to take it in. Keithley looking to measure up here in these early stages. Brendan Rawlings, the Australian, one of those involved in that defensive effort. This is Fui. Fui pushed them away, but he's bounced the ball. And Keithley come up with a, an advantage play. And their tackle count will start from here. And that's a real bonus for the home side. Yeah, the green jumper got in the way and he dropped his lollies, did uh, Fui. Keep hold of the ball. Certainly came off his long run up then, didn't he, Fui? But got to take the ball with you. Come we had a dummy half back. It goes from Emmett towards that right hand side. I think we've mentioned it before. Mike Emmett and Jake Emmett. I'm not sure they're related. I don't think they are. I think there's different spelling of the names as well. Anyway, Keithley up towards halfway. Nathan Conroy at dummy half. Left. But Harrell helping it on his way and he gets a little flick pass. Back again, this is Hawkyard, who's got a bit of zip, but he gets the ball out to that right-hand side where Brooke picks up and finds himself smothered by Wolfpack defenders. Well, it's early and it's expansive from the Keith Keithley side. The Cougars deciding to throw the ball out at every opportunity, try and disrupt the defensive line of the Wolfpack. It's a good effort from Matthew Bailey, the former Bradford Academy player. Back it goes, but Harold puts the kick high in the air. It's um, an early test for QLT, who catches under not too much pressure, but his go forward is limited to a couple of strikes. Well, that's a great place for Keithley to start a defensive set. They've started the game real well. It's a difficult pitch out there as well, isn't it? It's, um, it's quite a heavy ground. Not the smoothest path that they will have run on either side. QLT, search one, went the other. Shoulders coming in from Emmett and Biharo. Bezik. A dummy half to Emmett, Jake Emmett. Forward with some enthusiasm. Bezik now. And it's just a little slowish to his feet. Briley's going for an early kick. Is this a 40-20 attempt? It's certainly an, an attempt, but it'll bounce away from touch. That's it'll be picked kick. up by Vinnie Finnegan. And Finnegan with a pass back to Hawkyard again. Well, there's that interplay between Finnegan and... Hawkyard trying to get something on the front foot happening for Keithley. Yeah, I think there's a penalty here. He's given a to Toronto. Man, I think, yeah. He's given a, a, an obstruction. You're using his old man, own man as a shield there. Davy Dixon. So the penalty goes to Toronto's way. Going to tap this. Pesic takes it. Jake Emmett will be the first man in with a bit of a push. Hits the defensive line and takes it back a stride or two and puts Keithley right on the back foot again. Bezig out of dummy half. Loose pass by him. Picked up smartly by Wallace, who we, we saw his try scoring capabilities last week. Blake Wallace, didn't we? Yeah, he was on fire, wasn't he? Three. Hat trick. Briley. 
ducks away, but one and then another smack to the head. It's a tough old game. He has to get up and get on with it as Whiting brings it across the field. And keep the defenders with plenty of enthusiasm. Plenty of enthusiasm. Expect. Great word, Woodsy. And a knock, and a knock on. on. Knock on by Whiting. Congratulations for Brendan Rawlings from his teammates for putting the pressure on. Well, it's just the enthusiasm that forces this area. Richard Whiting's has skipped across the line. He's trying to get himself a quick play of the ball and drops it. So head and feed to Keithley. Ten from their own line. Talk about um, Toronto's try-scoring prowess this season. Craig Hall, number one top try scorer, 23. Liam Kay, Johnny Poundall both had 19. But Keithley have got a couple in there. Andy Gabriel, who we heard earlier, is not playing today because of a workplace injury. But Adam Ryder, the number 32, the centre, he has got 16. At 15, rather, so they are very, very capable of getting over their opponent's line at Keithley. Yeah. They've been playing well recently as well, back end of the season. And here's the expansion they're talking about, their coach was talking about. Don't take on the big black jumpers at the middle, oh. finding offloads. The Harold ducks and weaves away and looks at and Vinnigan's there, has got a bit of space, and Vinnigan maybe didn't quite fancy taking Pan all for pace. He takes the safer option of the inside path to stay in play. And if dummy half goes Conroy, and a big push and urge again. Scott Law Judge, as we love to call him, because that's his nickname. And now the Harrell with a kick, he's certainly behind the, the 40. That's not a bad kick, but QLT has covered the ground well enough to get across there. Kay's making a bit of a tempting run, but QLT right. will take the tackle. And the, we've seen them link before, haven't we? QLT going across the line, trying to find this fellow, Liam Kay, who's not a bad ball carry himself. Kay on 19 tries this season, gets up and plays on the halfway line, and Bussy will take it in with all that usual determination and energy, and Bezik at dummy half collects, and Fui Fui is to his right-hand side, and they're hanging on here, Keithley. Defensive hits going in. Bailey on that occasion, here's Emmett, and Wallace, and Whiting, back to Wallace again. But Keithley have it covered. One play to go in the set. They're going blind. Worthington with a grubber kick, pings off a shin or two, the referee yeah, says play that. Called it back to one, he got a bit lucky there, whether he played or not, the referee adjudicated that he did. Basic out of dummy half, testing them on the first tackle in this new set. A couple of strides away from where he wants to be. High and hanging for Wallace, and back to Bussy, and Bussy. Ten metres out, Bezik comes galloping across. Assuming that general's position, Wallace to Briley, who's reaching there, and QLT taking him on one on one against wow, the pass, pass away. And Johnny Pownall plunges over in the corner for his 20th try of the league season. And Toronto up and running with seven minutes played. Well, QLT is the architect in chief in there. He drags Adam Ryder, who's trying to try and stop the play, but Vinnie Finnegan gets attracted right at the depth. So we see QLT going to the centre, drags him across, and Vinnie Finnegan, Finnegan, the winger, gets tempted by the play, didn't think he's going to make the play, and Johnny Pownall with the great catch to get him in at the corner. There's a little skip play from QLT, and there's the finish from Johnny Pownall. Good skill. Good skill from QLT. Managed to attract two defenders, which gave the opportunity to Jonathan Pownall. I think we've had this before as well. You used to coach Vinnie Finnegan, didn't you, when he was at Bradford? Were you his coach? No? Shake of the head from Brian Noble, and he uncorks his, uh, his bottle of Chateau Neuf. York, Yorkshire water, tap water. water. Very nice. Here's Hall with the kick. Looks decent, not quite decent enough. Goes wide, and four points to nil. Toronto lead. Well, they will be discouraged here, Keith, because they've been vigorous in defence and looked expansive in attack, which you're going to have to be and score some points. And Vinny Finnegan gets caught in no man's land then, while neither coming in nor staying out. So, early score for the Wolfpack. This is a cat against a dog. You see that, don't you? This is what, sorry? A cat against a dog. Cat against a dog, it is, yeah. Yeah. A wolf. Well, it's a dog, isn't Canine. it? What are we waiting for here? What are we waiting for here? Not sure. Referee is... Um, oh, uh, Ryan Bryle. Ryan Bryle is getting a bit of treatment. That's what we're waiting for. 
He's okay. Got a couple of banks to the head in the last couple of sets. The Harrell puts it high in the air and it's caught safely enough by Wallace and Emmett brings it back towards that 20 meter mark. So measuring up already the team in black here. Got hurt there, Emmett. Yes. Oh, that shoulder. Fooey Fooey. Wrestling events, Sidlow, Fleming, they've got some. Uh, some power on the bench have um, Toronto. And it's going to gather in again. Down the hill to remind you, Toronto playing at the moment. This will suit Fui Fui as he goes in. And he's big run up. Three defenders clamoring all over him. They've got a gang up on Fui Fui. Can't leave it to one man. Here's Briley with a, a pass up back. For Tila to go. Panol picks it up. Can he make a diamond out of this rough here now, Panol? Well, he certainly recovered the majors they lost with the the poor pass. So the last play in this set, Briley's kick is <laughs> he's been put on his backside again there. Ryan Briley by Matty Baharel, and it's um, it's out of play. A few verbals afterwards as well. Yeah. I don't mind that. A bit of attitude here from yeah. Baharel. Yeah. He's just uh, he's just letting him know he's in the game. I don't know if he's having a giggle there or he's it's a snarling. Grin. It's a Richter's grin. Anyway, it's uh, it's Keatley's head and feet. Who have they come up against each other in the past? Other than in, I don't think um, I don't think Ryan had signed, had he? When they no. played each other, these two teams played each other early in the season. Anyway, there's a bit of um, a bit of confrontation developing here today. Ten and a half minutes of the first half played. Conroy swinging it to that right hand side. Hawkyard coming in at Dummy Half because he fancies a little bit of a run here at this um, Toronto defence. Well, that's that bit of application that Craig Lingard was talking about. So if you're against a big set, you need to find a little bit of footwork to find your front or a quick play of the ball. Uh, that's it. Holding down by uh, Bussy. So penalty for the Cougars. Which for Harrell will find touch. It's a good kick. Good kick. First defensive test here for the Wolfpack. There's a tap of the drive by Segar, who gets it away for Harold's quick hands again. And Rawlings trying to get inside, but he's 15 away from that Toronto line. Not sure about the play of all, but on they go. Scott Law takes it in. That's a good settle. A good position found here by Scott Law. Options right and left. They go right into the hands of Emmett and across the line, right across the line. Towards that right hand side, we might have gone in here. Might have gone in. The referee is having a look. Well, he's got his um, touch judge over there, yeah. and he's given the try. What a response that is! What a response. Casey, the man who's over. <laughs> But it's good speed of hand. They're going to the fringes clearly. You think the Wolfpack have got the numbers in defence, but he gets on the outside of Worthington and keeps his legs pumping. Unclear here where they go down, but the referee and touch judge are saying he's got that ball down. So we can see here, so it's a try to Keith. He gets on the outside of Greg Worthington. Saying he got the ball down. Try. Yep. So the outside of Worthington, K can't offer enough assistance to stop the Keithley play again. The ball down. Good try. It's a bit of a hesitation here because I'm not sure Josh Casey was named on the team sheet, was he? I think Amish Barnes. Oh, it was Amish Barnes who was down on the team sheet. Well, I think that is. Well, Josh Casey is the man in the number three shirt. On, so there's a bit of a bit of um, confusion. Kick is fantastic from the Harrell. It is. Yeah, well, there, there's the confusion cleared up. It is Hamish Barnes who scored that try. But he's wearing Josh Casey's shirt. He should be number 34, Hamish Barnes. It says number three, Josh Casey, but it is. We are have, have had it confirmed that is Hamish Barnes who scored that try. But Harrell's kicked the goal. It's 6 4, Keith Lee Lee. Yeah. All the time we were saying, I was saying I didn't want to call him Casey because I was confident it was Hamish Barnes. Yeah. I've been met him. Well, 
Jamie Sparks has got a bit of a, a Canadian pedigree as well, isn't he? A Jamaican international who actually made his debut for Jamaica against Canada in 2014. And um, again, we're being told from the sidelines that Hamish ripped his shirt, and that's why he's wearing Josh Casey's number three shirt today. So there you go. Here's Conroy, anyway. What is beyond any doubt is that Keithley are leading by six points to four with 14 minutes play. Yeah, it was a good play from Keithley to get over the line. In by Judge. Ten inside the Toronto half. Conroy at dummy half. Here's Baharrell. Baharrell will just watch that ball dribble towards the line. Great kick from Baharrell. Pinpoint accuracy, pins the wolf back into the corner. They have to rook their way out. Great enthusiasm as well from the green jumpers. So here's Briley at dummy half. Skips it inside, QLT. They're looking for some width here. Wallace almost caught, then the dummy. Yeah, he gets it away. And suddenly they're galloping downfield again here. They've got Kay on his inside. Worthington, two men down. But where that finished from where it started gives enormous relief from the Wolfpack. Here's QLT to Briley. Now it's Hall. Hall will go, Hall will go. Into the gap, offloads. Too much being asked of Powell. And went back. And was run away from one would be defender. Shape of rider. Moi Moi. 10 metres out from that Keithley line. Position placed well. Bezik goes left to Briley, and here's Wallace, and now QLT. He's made one try, but he can't quite make another with that trickery. Ball's out of play. Well, I don't know if there was a Keithley hand on that, but didn't execute well enough there. The Wolfpack get to the fringe. QLT goes on the outside. And is there a hand? No, there isn't. It's just flips the pass, and K can't get it in. Head and feed Keithley or a turnover. Well, it's a very similar pattern to what we saw in the first game between these two, this, isn't it? Keithley really coming out strong and really getting in the faces of the Wolfpack, giving them a challenge. Question is, can they sustain it for the full 80 minutes this time around? They went well, off the boil a little in the first game in the second half. There's Hawkyard, racked around. Conroy. Well, that's their challenge, isn't it? An 80 minute performance Craig Lingard was looking for. Listen to his feet, picked up rather smartly here by Conroy. Again, this is wonderful, wonderful dummy half play. Five gone. Last play coming up, they wanted a penalty, they're not going to get it, so they're going to have to try and create something. Beharrell's poked kick takes a kindly bounce for QLT, but there's nothing kind about the confrontation no. from the defenders who come in. They're up for this one, aren't they, the Cougars? Panel. K at dummy half. It was a poor play, the ball from Panel, and it has given possession back to Keithley. It's just enthusiasm. Keithley are climbing all over them, They're trying to get up to play the ball. Can't give this Cougar team too much possession for nothing. It's a real challenge going on and then up he gets and well you have to kick it backwards these days. Once upon a time you'd have been okay with that wouldn't you? Once upon a time but that rule changed a good few years ago now. Here is Hamish Barnes. Let not the number and name put you off, as it did with us. Conroy. Sagar. Conroy again. Signed from Dewsbury. Nathan Conroy for this season. A deflection in the flight. Here's an opportunity. Billy Finnegan is over in the corner. Acres of space. And Finnegan is not going to miss that one. From that distance, Cougars, Cougars, goes the Chapman Cougar Park. They lead by 10 points to four. Brilliant start from the Cougar side. Great set play. Wolfpack jumping out, making poor decisions on the fringes. All trying to close the play down. Comes up with nobody. Another player trying to close it down. And 
the big pass for Vinnie Finnegan to finish the play for the great try from the Cougars. Good great skill. Hands out, wasn't Good it? skill. Rawlings pass at the end of it, but plenty of other smart handling in there as well. 19 minutes played. Paul Rowley's looking as comfortable as he would have hoped to have been feeling at this stage of the game. His side trailing by 10 points to four with a Matty Bahar or Kip to come here. Yeah. for Craig Hall, would be the league's best goal kicker this season. This is for his 85th success of the year, and boy, has he got a boot on him. Matty Baharo puts it over, two out of two, 12 points to Paul, Keithley Lee. And fully deserving of that lead, getting to the right part of the field and putting the right players on. Baharo leashing the back row and Finnegan with the easiest of tries. So off we go again with Hall's kick downfield. Still a long, long way to go in this game. We've um, we played just 20 minutes, a quarter of the match played. But there's a task on here for Toronto. Well, the sides are lifting their game as these eights are entered. We saw that from York a couple of weeks ago. And Keithley have got their engine started early as well. Conroy. Put out back by Mike Emmett, stepping in, weaving run down the middle again. There's a little bit of footwork at the middle, troubling some Wolf Pack defenders to close that play down, but it's good play from Keithley, well played. Six tackles the next. It's um, back towards Brook again, kicks back high towards the middle panel, safely underneath it, and the pass away to QLT is going to ground. Keithley have it. Offside. From offside. They Keithley got lucky now is offside. Got lucky. Called him offside. Didn't pull out of the play. Yeah, I think he was offside. And he's within the 10 metres. That's what he gets done for in the end. Went without the ball, QLT. Yes, Can't do it's, that. It's that rule which baffles rugby league aficionados, doesn't it? If you're in front of the kicker and you get within 10 metres, even if you have no effect on the man catching the ball you are offside and we've seen some very high profile tries down the years disallowed because of that rule i think they should look at the law and it's not particularly because of this incident but yeah probably because if somebody's not interfering with somebody it should be play on but Toronto ain't complaining at the moment because they got the benefit of that and they get themselves back inside keithley territory when they might have been Tested to the limit again there. Here's Bussy. Has he lost that? Touch judge gives a shout to the referee who was uncited to say he has lost it. And Mr. Sweet, Andy Sweet, has given Keithley head and feed. It is all going the Cougars' way at the moment. Well, you can't give the opposition that much possession and I think this is play three of an offensive set. And we'll see if we can see what happens to the ball. No, I think there's a hand in there, but the referee couldn't see it, so... He's every right to look after it as well. Toronto plays in danger of uh, encroaching the offside position again there because the ball was just held at the back of the scrum. Here's a lift on Hawkyard. Uh, sorry, Finnegan. Put down safely again. Here's Conroy. Bustling effort again from uh, Adam Ryder. I mentioned him a time or two last time we were here, the former Huddersfield YMCA player. It's a club that also produced a certain Keith Senior who went on to have a fantastic international career and with Leeds. Five gone, here comes the sixth. The Harold again. Looking for that unerring accuracy that he's provided so far, and that needed dealing with because yeah. Parnell under pressure have been clobbered out of play there. Yeah, been well dealt with by Parnell. 
Plenty of kick pressure from the green jumpers. Pick up by Pano, getting on the right foot and wriggling an extra 10 yards. That is oh, a a real value for his side. I thought it was a flop. I mean, he got him later on. I thought it was an offence the first time. Little apology from Scott Law to his teammates there in acknowledgement of the penalty he's given away. So once over the tap, we start inside their opponent's half, which Hall will take up first. Johnny Pannell went over in seven minutes. It looked as though it was going to be script as normal for the Wolfpack, but anything but since then because of the way that Keithley have applied themselves to this game. Sidler. It's a good carry, isn't it? Here's Bezik. In front of Brian. It's a poor ball. Intercepted by the Harold. They are simply not joining the dots at the moment, the Wolfpack, in possession. And they're paying a heavy price here as Ryder brings it forward again. Wants it played quickly, gets it played quickly. Look at the ground they've covered already. Finnegan on tackle three is up to the halfway line. There's some troubled looks across the Wolfpack faces. Lovely little pickup from Conroy. Sprightly, dashing out of Dummy Hart. He goes right. They're coming in waves here now. And eventually the tackle. He's having a game and a half, isn't he, Conroy? Well, they've still got one play to go. Conroy left to Emmett, to Baharel. Familiar kick, Finnegan. Oh, Pano, oh, great catch. really Pano. good again. And tackled in the air with a penalty. The referee just uh, touching his elbow to say that there might have been an elbow lead as well here. He's having a right to challenge for it, but not when the elbows are in the face of his opponent. He's taking his time to bring the ball across here, just uh, letting his side calm down a little. The adrenaline is flowing amongst the Keighley team and their supporters. Made his kick, Noble's ball, sails over his head. Gossi. He's going an arm free there, considering an offload that keeps hold of the end. Well, he goes left to Sidlow. Sidlow takes it in and he gets the offload and Emmett will take it another bonus 10 yards or so. Both teams are making decent progress when they hang on to the ball, aren't they? Bezik, Sidlow, Skittle over. Two plays to go. With Wallace with a short pass oh, and Whiting ball. goes through and QLT is on his shoulder and as quick as a flash, as quick as a flash, a bit of Wolfpack class puts them back in this game. Well, I think it's the ball from Blake Wallace that splits this Cougar defence wide open. They get the skill right for once. Wallace, Whiting hits a great hole and I call good full box on the outside finishing the plays. QLT. Here's the ball from Wallace. Lovely little short ball. Whiting hits the hole. Try the wolf pack. It's almost like somebody's hit the mute button. Right? <laughs> it's a, it's a great atmosphere, isn't it? It was, but it's gone quiet. I think it's what they call a home crowd. Yeah. There's one or two um, Toronto. So you can see that you can see the maple leaf there. Canadian flag. To the right of the sticks, there's a the kick, and uh, over it goes. So it is 12 points to 10. It's a little more relaxed now. There's Paul Early at the back of the stand. 28 minutes played, his side trailing just by the two, but they're in a contest here today. Well, there's a short ball to Whiting, comes on a great line inside shoulder. QLT on the outside. <laughs> It's been a mix today of people very passionate about Keithley. 
one or two very passionate about uh, the Wolfpack and um, some neutrals as well. We had this last time we came here, a lot of people coming here today to watch this because it is a chance to see the Wolfpack against um, very good opposition. We'll see the latest interchange. James Feather is on. Conroy having gone off. It'll be interesting to see how that alters the dynamic over Donny Hart because James Feather is... Uh, Maybe not as nippy, but he's got terrific experience. Yeah, he's a good leader. He's Buster is his nickname around these parts. Wallace, Whiting, Bezik, Sidlow, dropping the shoulder, flicks to Emmett. Emmett to Lathwaite, and now Hall away from Finnegan, stepping inside. There's six or seven passes in this move already. Sidlow now. Takes it in, offloads, Wallace can't keep hold oh, for all the fancy stuff. It ends with a fluff, and it ends with Keithley in possession. Well, there's one pass too many. They created the field position, they created the fracture in the Keithley ranks, and they... Well, Bussy spinning out of the tackle there. Pick up from Davey Dixon, one-time Castleford Academy player. I think he was unavailable last week against York, but he's, um, he's in today for the injured... Andy Gabriel, Richie Hawkyard, another Scottish international, is um, dealt with by Briley, who's that is Whiting, and Feather will have a go out of dummy half. And a path towards that right hand side, so a lot of options right the centre of the field here now on the very last play for Harold again has to get it away as Bussey comes up. The kick is too deep this time. Well, the pressure there. The pressure there from Bussey has actually given What's the penalty up? away. He's going to uh, complimented really? on how good that kick pressure was, but the referee said he's got... He arrived there a little too late. So, penalty for Keithley. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, don't know how he can pull out there. Well, the pressure obviously did its job because Harold's kick was miscued in the end, but it has given Keithley an extra set of six to have a go here. And they've been good in this part of the field, haven't they? This is Feather, Harold again, pulling a few strings, and now it's taken on by Mike Emmons. Uh, he's, uh, he's given it away. So also having back in the shape of Dan Fleming, who's arrived from the bench. And the Wolfpack can breathe a sigh of relief again. There's Hall. The both teams guilty of making errors, uh, letting the other team off the hook. Cross is on the field as well now. He's uh, just come on for Jack Bussey, the latest interchange. Galloping into position, he might be the man to take it up here. And QLT decides that he can't get through. QLT can get through, and he has support from Crossley, who is fresh, but he's still not as quick as maybe one of the outside backs. But Toronto are here, and they plan to get deeper. And Wallace drops his shoulder, rolls it back. Kerry picks it up, gets over the line, and the referee has given the try. And again, it doesn't take much, just that extra class to find a way through. And the Wolfpack, from being in deep, deep trouble, find themselves in the lead at 14-12. Well, it's QLT that takes off here. We see the finish. Wallace going at the line, beats with his left foot step. What a pickup from Liam Gay, you have to say. But they needed picking up. And there's the finish. There's the try. Blinking of eye, one end of the field. But it's Wallace is the break, but earlier the break was from QLT, and who's in support? Big Steve Crossley. He did not run that far for 10 years, in my guess. But he was there, he was fresh, you were right, fresh legs, and... Well, he's, he's just... Going the front. He's just on 90 yards there, Steve Crossley, but 30 of those yards were coming off from the touchline. <laughs> First involvement in the game. Yeah. I'll well, be disappointed with that, Keithley, because... Certainly been very enthusiastic, and as you say, when, when something goes against this Cougar team, this place goes deathly silent. Greg Hall again with a kick, and uh, he's found it. He's, um, he's on target, two out of three for Craig Hall. It's now 12 points to 16. So Monto have the lead. Here's the run. Here's the break, is it? He just took off. He just pressed the accelerator. Gone. Off his short run up and he was gone. Here's Crossley on the inside. You expect him to get run down. It's a while since he's done those 40 metre sprints, Steve Crossley. And then it's Wallace with the step and the support play from Liam Kay with a brilliant pickup, you have to say. It was a great pickup, wasn't it? Under those circumstances.
English uh, rugby league viewers will remember Michael McElroy scoring a Challenge Cup semi-final try a few weeks ago with a similar kind of brilliant pickup off the floor. Takes a bit of skill. Here's Sidlow, who's eight away he's from made, the halfway line. He's made a bit of a difference to Sidlow, hasn't he? Cross is involved again. He's a player here at a time or two in his, um, his playing career with Dewsbury and Featherston, no doubt. Taken on by Bezik. So Wally stands at dummy half. And here's Brian Hughes, so just dribbling that ball out of play. Well, I think it's a measure of Keithley's competitiveness that they decide to find a sideline and manage a little bit of an engine himself, this Toronto team. So they've come out with possession here, and they've got a lot of work to do to get downfield. Here's Richie Hawkyard. Penalty, Toronto offside. So there's a lift for Keith Lee. And maybe they've not done yet in this half because there's still four and a half minutes to go. And when Bahara puts this out of play, which he does. They will start their set, only 20 away from yeah. the Toronto line. Big set this for Keithley and for the Wolfpack. Hammered in there by Sagar. It's towards the middle oh. again. Good tackle. It's Baharol. There's no way through here from uh, Harry Aronson, who's uh, just on the field. It's for Harold. He's buckling a few people at the moment, Dan Fleming. Looking forward to watching this Harry Aronson who's um, on the field. He's only a slight player, he's got a bit of zip about him. Given a half a, half a gap, Rawlings, offloads. No way through for Feather. I think they're coming this way. Little kick towards the in-goal area. QLT will pick it up. Can he get out? Yes, just about just. out of the field of play. Back in the field of play. It's a big well, set of six there. Simone. The temptation was to let the ball go, wasn't it? But he didn't. He decided to feel the ball. And then his job was to get back into play, which he did. Arnold's pass picked up off the floor by Worthington. Here's Kay. Pushing himself at that Keithley line. Certainly doing the tough stuff today as well, isn't he, Liam Kerr? Not square at the marker, which has given the Toronto Wolfpack a penalty here. And well, they've been decisive, haven't the penalties in this game? Both ways, you know, we've seen a couple of scores on the back of certainly wasn't square. You're not allowed to stand side by side. Well, suddenly, with two and a bit minutes to go, Toronto would be favourites, maybe to score again here. Worthington is up to within 20 metres. The lead at the moment is just four points. Keithley desperate to hang on to give themselves a Ooh. real chance in the second half. Crossley back up to his feet. Here's Briley. Wallace! Oh, well tracked in defence. Wallace is up! And he's held up, he's not managed to get it down. Go back to the 10 metre mark and play it again. There's a Keithley player injured though here. A bit of bravery required there. A C2, and this is the reason why Wallace almost drifting through. So he's going to have a second go. Orkyard got underneath him. That was a try saver. He didn't do what he's done there, Richie Hawkeye. It's a try for Wallace because he was, certainly wasn't tackled. There's still a wave of attack to repel here. 
from Keithley's point of view. Sidlow, two tackles to go after this. Riley again, and Whiting will find a gap between two defenders. And Whiting is over for his try. And that does give Toronto a lot more of a comfort zone as half-time looms. Well, Richard Whiting's running today. His lines, his angles that he's coming back against the grain here is too hard to stop. He came earlier on, got himself a score. Play against the Rook, so you're playing around the... The pulse there and Richard Whiting was just too quick. Hits the hole real well. Fourth try of the afternoon for the Wolfpack. And they've really turned things around, haven't they, in these last 20 minutes, 19, 20 minutes played. They were trailing 12-4. And there was a, a real whiff of an upset on the cards here. Keithley were playing terrifically well and they might yet respond again. They might come back again, but Hall's kick Extending that lead to 22 points to 12. They might be playing downhill in the second half, Keith Lee, but it's looking a bit more of an uphill task that they're facing. Well, they come back against the grain. There's a little cross play in and around the sticks, and Richard Whiting is a... Briley just has to hit him. He's on the fly, he's in the hole. Needs to catch the ball, put it down, which he does. So we're into stoppage time at the end of this first half. Remember, that's not the official clock. That's for Harold. Wallace. As it's pointing in all different directions here as to what he's going to do and where he's going to go and where he wants his team to go. It's in by Fleming. He'll be involved with Wales. In that World Cup, Briley. QLT. Looked dangerous every time he's carried the ball and he's had to do the tough stuff today as well, hasn't he, QLT? Lathwaite. And there's still potentially time for another here. Briley again. Fleming hits the ground, gets up quickly, plays the ball, and here comes the sixth, and Briley's kick will just find touch. I wonder if we've got time for the scrum to take place here. Neither side is in any rush to stop the clock by getting the scrum formed. Well, it's been managed pretty well by Ryan Briley there. Wanted the sideline, got the sideline, walked to the scrum. Glorious day here today, isn't it? It's, this is what August should be in England. Not the weather we had at Workington last week. Finnegan. For a wander over to that right hand side. Wallace wanted to nick the ball off him. The referee said, You can't do that once the tackle's complete, son. I'm going to give a penalty against you. <laughs> and Baharal puts it out of play. Now, well, we'll have time. We will have time for the tap restart here. Open under. I think somebody wants calling that phrase. Somebody wants, yes. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens from here. Heather's got it. Another ball on the field that would confuse matters if that wasn't rectified. So that ball is taken off. Now, what do we see here? What kind of thrills and spills have we got on this very last play? But Harold puts it over the top. So go on, Vinnie Finnegan. What have you got? Has a look on the outside, and he decides to come back on the end. Too many Toronto defenders for that really to uh, blossom into anything more than the end of the half. Toronto leading. By 22 points to 12, but Brian Noble, they've um, they've had some scares. Oh, along they've the had way, to fight hard. They've had to reinforce that attitude that you need at this time of year because it's been tested. Keithley jumping out to that 10-point lead was it at one point? Barnes had gone in at the corner. They're getting themselves together now, regrouping for. They love playing down this hill in the second half, but this game's by no means over. 22 points to 12, a more comfortable position than Toronto had at half-time when they played here in the regular season. But it's far from job done. Richard Whiting was the last of those try scorers and he's now speaking with Aaron Murphy. Oh, it's Richard Whiting joined us. Big try there at the end, Richard, to give you a little bit of breathing room. Keithley came out firing on all cylinders, so important to get that try. Yeah, definitely. Um, we didn't start the game as well as we would have liked to. Um, 
But obviously, Keith, they started very well and put us under pressure. Um, we got into a bit of an arm wrestle where we complete our sets and make them complete their sets, and you know we managed to get ourselves back in the game. And we're taking a, a little lead into half time, but we, we've got to improve in the second half. Well, they'll be buoyed by that win over York. Obviously, they'll be looking at it as well. You guys lost to York, and it's a big win for them in front of a big crowd here. What are the keys in the second half to maybe tidy that up? Complete our sets. Um, if we get our completions up to 80 to 90 percent, then Keith will struggle to go with us, but. We need to be a bit more, uh, bit more physical in our in our contact and our wrestle on the floor and control their sets when they've got the ball as well. This is an important game as well, not only because of the Super 8 seedings, but it's our last game on UK soil before you go off to a lengthy stretch in Canada. So important to go out here with a win. Yeah, definitely. You know, we want to we want to hit the hit the ground running when, once we get to Toronto, and you know we, we need to put a better better 40 minute per, uh, performance to, together in that second half than what we've just thrown up in the first. Richard, thanks for taking the time. Good luck in the second half. Mate, thank you. Back into the uh, the changing room now to uh, join in that team talk. There'll be some harsh words, I'm sure. But we're back for the full second half coming up after this break. Watch every game from the NRL Telstra Premiership live this week. He's hailing throughout for the ball. He's got from South Sydney. Oh, it is brilliant. Brilliant stuff by the Broncos. Just too big and too strong. The Roosters will go back to back. Beautiful football. A beautiful pass. A diving finish. What a finish. Wonderful play, Canberra. Big tackle. NRL Round 24, live this week. Trevor. Yeah? You're a private landlord, right? And your tenants are in a tough financial situation that can't pay their rent, which is keeping you up at night. Yeah, but... But you're with direct line. They'll repay any unpaid rent until the tenants are out. So relax, Trevor. It's time for me to put you to sleep. Coco? Landlords, Direct Line guarantees to beat the quote and renewal premium of other insurers for the same cover. We care about only using honey to sweeten our ketchup. Because at Hellman's, we're on the side of food. If you think rugby league's just a game for youngsters, think again. Masters Rugby League is a new form of the game, specially created for the over 35s. From full contact to non-contact, there's a pair of shorts for everyone. Get fit, make friends, have fun. To find your nearest Masters Rugby League club, just search Masters Rugby League online or drop us an email. Release the beast. Dare to go double with new Magnum Double Coconut. Fashion Week backstage at the Misha Nunu Show. This show is inspired by nature's beauty. I asked Chris if I could get the results I need. I use Tresemme Botanique. Enriched with coconut oil and aloe vera, no silicones or dyes, it nourishes for healthy looking, shiny hair. Tresemme, used by professionals. Whether you're a super Yorkshire fan, a super Lancastrian, or even a not so super Australian, if you're a super rugby league fan, there's one newspaper you really can't be without. Every Monday, League Weekly brings you the world of rugby league. From our own action packed Super League to the red hot NRL, and all the gossip in between. We have expert views from the best commentators and writers, plus forum pages, insider analysis, and all the stats that matter. League Weekly, the number one read for league fans. Giddy up. Bad odour is caused by bacteria in your underarm. So we created Sure Antibacterial Odour Protection. Protection that fights the source of bad odour. Sure Antibacterial reduces 90% of odour-causing bacteria. Also available for men. Sure, it won't let you down.
So welcome back to Cougar Park. It's, um, it's a decent game so far, isn't it? Keith Cougars 12, Toronto 22. And for a while in that first half, Cougars had uh, the Wolfpack really troubled, Brian Noble. Absolutely. I think their offload game and their expansive game going to the fringes early and not taking the Wolfpack team on up the middle and making them run around a little bit was paid real dividends, didn't it? Yeah. Early tries and ball movement troubled them. And also the kicking of Matty Baharol as well. I mean, we you picked him out beforehand as being the go-to player, and that's what he's proved to be today. Well, he's got a great kicking game, and as yeah. much as we like to see a running and a passing game and all the fancy things in rugby league, you've got to be able to kick the ball well as well, and he does that particularly good. And how good was Nathan Conroy in that first half as well? The little hooker, Yeah, I thought he was hooker. zipping around. Yeah. He, was caught, he caused trouble pretty much on every one of his carries, and he also feel that he kept wicked on all the players that were prepared to offload, so he was there and picking up the pieces and causing... He was a threat all the time, wasn't he? He was. Let's remind ourselves of the tries, the way they went. And, um, well, when this happened, I think we thought, here we go, Toronto, looking comfortable. Well, this is QLT, who skips on the outside of a defender, tracks another defender, and Johnny Pownall only catches this one. Get too many easier ones than this, but great play from QLT and a good finish from Johnny Pownall. Well, that was seven minutes. This was 13 minutes. Great response from, uh, from Keithley. Well, Barnes gets on the outside of... Now we've cleared up his name. Barnes gets on the outside of uh, Worthington and just keeps going. And K can't get enough help to Greg Worthington. Yeah, Touch just says he's got that down. Yeah, but question of whether he got it down or not, but it was given. Yeah, and here's the second given. one, Finney Finnegan. Well, this is a good play. And a couple of misreads from the Wolfpack defence there. We saw them going against the grain trying to stop that play. But great play from Keithley. They're, they're moving really, really well. It's Baharrell and just managing to release, I think it was... The back rower released them in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, so 27 minutes, Keithley on top, but then just suddenly, bang. So I'll yeah. take the try back. Uh, and the Toronto team is capable of that. You know, a little bit of an awakening, but Richard White in hitting a super haul for Blake Wallace to put him through. And then same again, it's Wallace, the architect, really steps and beats two people. And you have to say it's a fabulous pickup from Liam Kerr to to finish the try and then right of the death Richard White in another hole as they say hitting in a good line in around the rook and exposing the middle defenders of uh, Keith Cougars. so a little quiet in the crowd, crowd a little bit and dampen the enthusiasm of Keith Lee, but they managed to take this enthusiasm into the second half Dave I'm pretty yeah. confident it's going to be a game that that whiting try might just have taken a bit of the wind out of the sails but but we saw we saw last time they played each other that they, they kind of drifted off in the second half. They'll have learnt from that, Keith Lee, won't they? Absolutely, and their performances of late will suggest that they've learnt from that. They like playing down the hill here, and they, if they get a score and get this crowd enthusiastic again and the noise goes up and there's a few errors, and, you know, it's, they want to create that kind of hubble bubble toil and trouble atmosphere. You know, they want to create that nervousness amongst the... The challenge for the Wolfpack is to stay disciplined, uh, improve their skill, I think... The team that does that in the second half, I think Richard Whiting alluded to it, look after the ball, do the right things, and ramp up. OK, I think we're going to be hearing from Simon Finnegan in just a moment, the assistant coach. Can we go to him right now? He's, uh, he's down there with, with Aaron. Let's, uh, can we go down there? Let's go down. Aaron, Aaron is, uh, is speaking with Simon Finnegan. Aaron. Oh, he's not there yet. <laughs> we'll go to him in just a second. He's not quite there. Yeah, but what's going on in the Toronto dressing room now? What's Paul Rowley saying to his side of this? this well, I would think, period? well, not clearly I'm not in there, but he'll be reinforcing the message of about being a little bit tighter defensively on the decisions, improving our, our discipline, if you like, the discipline of the mind to do the things that we practice to do. Um, don't get involved in loose things that give the referee an excuse to put, you know, blow the pee out of his whistle. I think both teams will be surprised how many penalties have gone each way and how influential the penalties have been as well. I think we've scored on the back of four of the penalties. So clean clean your act up a little bit, be a bit more clinical as the Wolfpack were the last 15 minutes of that half. Yeah. Keith Lee, I, I would say, go back to the first 20 minutes of the first half. Craig Lingle will be reinforcing, keep pushing for each other, finding the offloads, keep getting away from the big men and frying your front and playing the ball quickly because you're troubling this Wolfpack team. And, and, and the hill, I mean, we talked a little bit about the hill. I mean, how much of a difference does that actually make now that you're playing uphill in this second half? Oh, I don't have any stats, but I promise you, Keith Lee loved playing down the yeah. hill in the second half. That's why they choose to run up the hill sometimes. So they clearly have a strategy of what they do there, right. how they play the ball, how they move for each other, how they kick the ball as well yeah. with the slope being yeah. down there. Yeah. So it's uh, a tough challenge. OK, we can go to uh, Aaron now, who's with Simon Finnegan. 
Thanks, guys. And you know what? It was a good start by Keith Lee. We kind of expected that when we were here on March 26th. They came out of the gates fast, much the same today. But great composure by you guys to bring a lead into the uh, dressing room. Yeah, I think they've played really well, Keith Lee. I thought they started the game quite hard, and we expected that. Though they've been, they've had two good wins. They're coming off the back of being two very good sides in the middle eight. So they started well, but I think we've been pretty composed in how we've played and how we've controlled sets. So and our backfield have been very good against getting us forward. We talked to their head coach, Craig Lingard, ahead of the game, and he said it was imperative that they have a good start because they know that sometimes, especially the first time you guys here, the last 20 minutes, you're, you know, the professional legs kind of dig in and get the job done. It's important for you guys now to crack on from that lead. Yeah, and a lot of teams have started well against us for that reason. You know, we're a full-time team, so they probably think that they can't stay in there for the 80-minute period. But we've started games a lot. You know, we've not been starting games very quick or, well, in terms of points, we've not been starting games very quick. But, so we, I think we started all right today. We did some good things and we finished our quite strong and it's been positive talk in there now. We know what we've got to do the last 40 and I think we'll do it. One of the things I've noticed all season long being pitch side, and it's been a pleasure, your composure as the assistant coach at Radiates out onto the field and the communication with Paul Rowley. Talk a little bit about being on the sideline there in that opening half when you've got uh, a little bit of a gap to make up. Oh, it's, I don't know if I'm composed. I might be composed on the front, but it's all a, it's a game of poker in it. I mean... There's not a lot that flusters both of us, you know. We see most things in a game, and like we spoke about, we speak about all the time at halftime. There's another four minutes to go, and things in rugby league can change so quick. I mean, in this half, it changed quick. One minute we're on top, the next minute, keep we score two tries. So momentum swings in 80 minutes, and so not a lot to get too flustered about. We just carry on. Simon, always a pleasure. Best of luck. Thanks for taking the time. Best of luck in the second half. Always, thank you. Back to you guys. There we go, Simon Finnegan, they're out again, ready to get underway. As we said, Keithley kicking uphill of a slight camber here in this second half. And there's Jeff again. We mentioned Jeff last time we were here. His uh, son Peter is watching in at Toronto and his, um, his uh, daughter-in-law, I should say, Mary Ann, and his two grandkids, Andrew and Matt, are watching as well. So, Jeff, you're famous again. And there's the kickoff, which very nearly went out on the fall. It was um, it was caught very well in the end, but um, that was, that, you'd have to say it was an inch perfect kick, that Brian. Inch perfect, and I was tempted if I was a Keithley catcher, I would have stuck my leg out the back because it would have been ball back on the fall and a penalty on halfway to Keithley. I thought that rule had changed this year. Is it not behind the dead ball line? Anyway, here we go, Keithley in the green. If you're just switching on and um, trailing at the moment. 12 points to 22 they led 12-4 at one stage but Toronto racing back into the lead with three tries in the final 12 minutes of that um, first half while we're mentioning people by the way the kick there from Adam Brook QLT comes on at a flash and runs it in and he's tackled well that's a good carry by QLT. he's carrying the ball well today isn't he and a collect from dummy half by Poundhall who's um, already got his name on the team sheet, first to score, of course. We're mentioning people, we mentioned Jeff there, but Darren Mabbott is here today. He's been involved in Canadian Rugby League since 1993. And um, he's asked us to mention Paul O'Keefe, Caroline Ritchie, Lawrence Ross, David Graham and Paul Buchanan, who were all very much stalwarts of the Canadian scene. QLT almost through, knocks it on. So the free play here. Well, that's one of those areas you're probably prepared to accept because I think he was through the hole and... Keith, the defender, just got his hands on him, surges through and dislodges the ball on the carry, so play on. Bailey up to his feet. Keith Lee looking to grind up some of these yards with a, a little bit of an advantage. And a pickup out of dummy half by Harry Aronson. He's not the biggest kid, is he? He made his debut for Swinton when he was only 16. He doesn't look much older now, is he? I think he's 19 now. And he has got a bit of fleet off foot if given the opportunity. And Feather to Hawkyard and a big hit on Hamish Barnes. Kay saw the target on his chest and came in. And Barnes is hurting a little. Kick high from Brook. It's going to land here, it's going to land, and if anything could happen next, wow. oh, that's lo lucky. 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 Great fortune. There's an injury, is it? Dixon, who's um, gone down injured, coming in here, trying to claim it. Oh. Couldn't see what happened there, I was just missed a clip that was on the screen. It's Beharrell, isn't it? 
and Matty Baharup. Well, I think it's a collision yeah, with Johnny Pownall there. Was both trying to feel the ball, nothing wrong in that, nothing illegal, should I say. We should have brought the sunscreen, sunscreen today, shouldn't we? It's, it's, it's a hot one in Keighley. It is. Some Sun just shining in Yorkshire, David. Is it? Yeah. This is the day, is it? August the 13th. Not in the diary. We're going to get a, a restart again here in a minute, but Harold is OK, and Keighley will be very, very pleased about that because he is such a key functionary of what they do. Yeah, he's crucial, isn't he? Toronto carry on with their set from deep inside their own half. Tackle two sees them up to the 20-metre mark. What do they make from here now? Oh. Well, they get a penalty. Interference after the uh, tackle was completed. Well, it's hard to argue against the penalty. Certainly the, the, the locals are restless in relation to that decision. Ryan Briley's aiming for our cameras. He's actually put it over the stand. So the tap... Restarted, hit the truck outside apparently. Taken in by Fleming. It'll have woken him up. Here's Bezik and a dummy half, and Fui Fui's on the charge again here. Four of them, four of them pull him down. We almost feel he's on his terms. Bezik now collects again. He's got Sidlow just to his left. He's looking further left. In fact, he's looking forward. Keith Lee have any potential gap sealed quickly. Wallace. Sidlow, solidly in, less than 10 away. Bezik, two to his left, more to his right, including Wallace, whose short pass to Laithwaite has almost got him up to the line. What's the referee given a high tackle, I think? Yeah, high tackle penalty, has he? Or is he I just... don't know what he's doing. He's given a scrum. He's given a scrum. Head and feet to Keithley. Must have knocked on. Laithwaite must have knocked on. Or is he given a forward pass? Who knows? It's a mystery. Get Agatha Christie on the case. Hercule Poirot is somewhere around here. Head and feed, and it goes to that left-hand side. The big fellow rider, I think, is uh, the man who's trying to get into his stride, but Toronto are across there to match him muscle for muscle. But it takes a little bit of stopping. And now Finnegan, oh, what a stepping run from... This fella, off he goes again, Billy Finnegan. Great run. Wow. Flash of Yorkshire lightning there, Billy Finnegan. And now they're looking on the inside for Hawkyard. Up, down, down, up again quickly. Bezik, not square, takes the man out and has given the penalty away. Well, what a lift for Keithley at the start of this second half, provided by the... Dashing brilliance of Vinnie Finnegan in the a, first place. It was a great run, wasn't it? He stepped moy moy. Bailey is down. Feather looks left. Hawkyard, Beharrell into the line comes Aronson. Like a stalk of wheat blown over in the wind by those oncoming Toronto defenders. And now the big effort. This is Trey O'Sullivan. And they're back for glory here, the Keithley fans. Their side are so close again. Toronto hanging on. It's another wave of attack to come. Back to Baharrell. Out to Brook. And now the step back on the inside from Barnes. Don't let the name and number put you off. It's Hamish Barnes. It's back with Brook again. The grubber kick. Fui Fui has fumble, fumble, and it's Keithley who get their head and feed. Oh, it's a penalty. They were offside. They were offside. Oh. What a stroke of luck that is for the Wolfpack. Big stroke of luck. More and more, couldn't clean it up. Kick, adjudicated the kick chase, it was offside. Well, I think they knew because they were holding off, weren't they? They were. So, um... I think the referee's got that spot on. But Fui Fui didn't know that when the ball came to him. And he would have been a little alarmed in the first instance and greatly relieved when he heard the referee's whistle. And Toronto now can settle things down again. They are being tested here today. Definitely. Bro. Said he wasn't over at half-time. All they have to do is get some field position. Sidlow's had it stolen. He's furious. Feather claps him in his face. That won't go down well. 
He's given the knock on rather than the ball steal. Well, he's got every right to look after this ball. I think he's. Whether he feels he's hard done to or not, the referee adjudicated that he spilled it. And plenty of thrills and spills at the start of this second half. And Keithley infused, still trailing by 10. They have to score twice, of course. Here's Barnes, the Jamaican international. Cuts back into inside. And back to Paul Mladdy. He actually went to Dewsbury early this year and he played a handful of games and then came right back to Keithley again. Sagar. Signed again last year after a couple of years out with this club. Oh, what about that? Brooke! But it's Adam Brook who is the man who created that, the architect in chief, Hawkyard the finisher, and Keith Lee are far from finished. They're back in the game. Brilliant try from Keith Lee. Great spree. Brook takes off. They think he's gonna pass. He doesn't pass, he goes through the hole and they leave. And Hawkyard finishing. As he's done all season for this Keithley Cougars team. Well, terrific stuff from Keithley. They have not accepted defeat by a long chalk. They are very much in this game. When this kick from Baharel goes over, which it surely will, they will be back within four points. So the Harold settles himself, over it goes. Kick 86 of the year, kick three of the day, and it's 18-22. Totally deserved score. Brooke just goes through a huge hole. Dan Fleming with the wrong read, traps and thinks he's gonna pass, doesn't pass, runs straight past him. minutes played game on our hands 18 22 Keithley lifted going down the hill gravity on their side momentum on their side we'll be after that try but it's Toronto on the other side and what have they got in response oh, they want to play quickly it's gonna be a big uh, effort again here from Trey O'Sullivan it's commentary He's a sign from Batley. He's on loan till the end of the season now. Hawkyard takes it in. Buster Feather. Dummy half again. Sagar just over the halfway line on tackle five. Feather looks for touch with a very good kick. It'll be Toronto's head and feed, but they've got a 90 yard uphill trek to get to the other end with six tackles to go. Smart play. Set after a score, put the pressure back and throw it back at the Wolf Pack. This place is turning back the years on some great days they had. What 20, 20 years ago now, Brian? 20 years ago when we had all that Super League nonsense breaking out. And this place rocked every week. Well, they're turning back the years a little here, enjoying this in the sunshine today. It's Kay. Nearly wasn't square, so had to just allow himself being pushed away. So the Wolfpack respond terrifically when they got hit by a double in the first half. Oh, Moy Moy has lost it. We'll go for the first knock on, I think, the referee. So it was a knock on certainly from Keithley, but it was Moy Moy who lost it in the first instance. So head and feet again here. Well, they're going to have to change their attitude in relation to the quality of their skill. If they're going to play this way and offload, then he needs to make that stick fooey fooey. A couple of times now, it's the third time I think they've failed to complete a set, the Wolf Pack, which has given Keithley every reason to be in this game. Feathers is getting a bit of treatment. Holding his shoulder. Time out is okay. It's a bit of a John Wilkin look about him, hasn't he? James Feather. You reckon? Just a little. 
with Craig Lingard, who looks nothing like John Wilkin. We'll be happy. Craig Lingard started his second half really sharp. Saying about the Batley legend that he was, I think he's got a, a stand named after him, isn't he? Batley these days. Time leaving point scorer at Batley, but now cutting his teeth as a head coach here at Keithley. Feather at Dunny Hart, 18 22, within striking distance. Brooke, whose silky skills we've seen. You wouldn't describe O'Sullivan as silky, but he doesn't lack ability. As he takes it in and he's put down, Feather left again. Behar all the, the Toronto line was rushing up quickly there, Briley. But uh, Keithley, oh, they get another set. It was a Toronto touch that's given them another set of six here. Bailey's put down on the zero tackle, plays it about five yards away from where it should have been played. Feather is uh, going to get a penalty here because he ran at the not square markers. And there's some experience going on down the middle from Keithley. Well, it's smart play from Keithley. They're making the most of the noise, of the energy, of the enthusiasm. And here they go, Brendan Rawlings. The Yorkshire Aussie, five metres out, back towards Baharrell. It's now with Brooke and the youngster, Aronson, snapped up. Very nearly snapped, looking at the size of it. Here's Feather. Running with determination, O'Sullivan. Just inside the 10. Feather again, lines up. Remember, they've still got Conroy to come back on the field as well. Now it goes right. Segar's put down. Two yards away. Big moments in this game. Big here. moments. Feather back to Hawkyard. The Harrell with a dummy in the step, but there's a wall in front of him. Lathwaite, the solidest brick section of that wall. And the last play. Feather, high, asking the questions, the ball's gone to ground, was there a knock-on, Touchjuts will have his say, referee nods his head, head and feed for Keithley, they've got another set of six here, to hammer this Toronto line. Wow. Well, it's all pressure, it's all Keithley, it's all wow, and game on our hands, and is there a knockdown there, probably yes. This is a test of the Wolfpack resolve. Their lead is slender. The tank is nearly empty, given all the work they've had to do in defence. But they've got to go again, as here comes the test. Led by Ryder, and a penalty again. Effectively, it's not that much of a problem. It just gives them an extra tackle to make. Another takes his time. This will be in Toronto's advantage, because they can get a bit of oxygen back here before the... Next wave of attack comes led by Sagan. Big test this of the Wolfpack. Look at this, big pass out to that left-hand side. Brooke, the Harrell, tries to slip his man. Enough done in the initial attempted tackle by Hall to slow the Harrell down. Feather. It's O'Sullivan again. Ten away. Feather. Stands and waits, left to Baharrell. Oh, it's shoveled and dropped, and it's away here from Powell. Will he go Can't all go the way? The Will he go all the Look way? Look at the youngster chasing him. Will he go all the way? Aronson's beaten with a step, but he's slowed him down enough for Finnegan to get back and make that tackle. But this is Hall out to Wallace. Wallace, now they'll score. No doubts now. All that defense wow. turned into stunning attack. With a try wow. at the end of it, Worthington finishes. Toronto survived the storm, and out comes their sunshine at the other end of the field. Wow, breathless. First of all, you've got to think that Keithley are going to score at the other end. They bomb the opportunity, the Powell picks up the pieces, he flies down the outside, beats one man, and gets run down. And then it's just a spread play. The Keithley team just couldn't quite get back up the hill, but wow, 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 wow. Here it is. This is all. This is the finish. And he spreads the ball to Wallace. He just has to find Whiting, who's shaped up and hands it on to Greg Worthington to finish the, the break on the other side from Pownall. And that's the run down. The, that's where he got caught Hawkyard in the end. And, and then it's just a pass play. Get it out there. Get it out there. The Keithley team just could not get back up the hill. 
Well, one end to another. We'll have a look at all of that in just a second. Let's watch this kick here from Hall. But Keithley were knocking at that. They were banging on that. They had one of those big things that they knocked doors down with, didn't they? Yes. And they, I'm, I'm following it. I'm, 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 I'm getting influenced by you here. Here comes Hall. The kick's gone wide. But it's 18 26. Now have a look at all this. Let's have a go. So Keithley are going to score here. That's what we're calling. He just knocked on. And then Parnell was gone. He's the big one block. Beats the first block. Gone. He's still gone. You can't get him. Yes, you can. Somebody's coming across him. Oh, beats him and another one. And wow, great scramble from the Keithley defenders. And, and then there's just black shirts in the frame, in the width, and get to the other end. Couldn't see it, could you? Unbelievable. Get out of jail, free card just been played by Toronto. Great pace from Aronson, by the way, to get back and stop Panel, but he couldn't thwart the try. He didn't quite stop him, but he did enough to uh, slow him down. Come on, Cougars, get stuck in, is the advice from supporters down below. Well, they have got stuck in today, haven't they? 21 minutes to go here, Bussy, not usual. Sheer determination down the middle. There's Hick. Good work from the veteran. Well, I think they're doing route one at the moment. I think they've seen all the pressure being under. I think they're just trying to get to the under the other end of the field. Emmett again. That's tackle five. Here comes the sixth. Bezik. Bellis is going to kick it. Looks for behind the line. Great, great falling catch from Beharry. Did it really? If he picked that up cleanly, he's done brilliantly well, yeah. hasn't he? It's like a wicket keeper. One played down the leg side and he still manages to gather it in. And we're catching our breath a little. Feather. Well, they're up right, right. Oh, God! Up he goes! Kay grabs him around the knees. You can't run without these, some. And I've got your knees in my arms, you're stopping. Did well there, Kay. Okay. Had to do well. Hawkey had split them wide open, didn't he? Rawlings. Good effort. Townsville born. Brendan Rawlings, that'll be the, uh, the venue for a couple of World Cup games this year. Well, that's a, a, a high kick. Wow. Split. Wow. If, if he catches that, he goes under the sticks. He nearly called it was under the sticks. Wow. Done a lot of wows today, haven't I? You have, yeah. You, you, you threw your woe quota. You slow up on the wows. Good effort from Amish Barnes. That was Emmett. I'm sorry, I think he got one of the match here, didn't he, when we played here last? When the last came here? Brendan Rollins. Jacob Emmett. Oh, Jack Emmett, yeah. Might have done it half. There's Bezik. Emmett again. Turned around and faced the wrong way. So if he gets and twists himself around again, and here's Wallace. And there's signs here as Worthington takes it in and bumps off the young fella. He's been around now, Aronson. He's hanging on. He, he wants the ball. I want the ball, ref. He's got it. I want the ball, ref. I've got the ball. No, you haven't. Oh, yes, he has. Took yes, it off has. him. He has. Good effort from the kid. Great effort. One on one. The arrow. And left it goes again and tracked to the middle of the park. given here penalty for Keithley too much messing around in the tackle that tackle on Bailey and the kick from the Harrell well, they're only one score away from putting the frighteners up the wall pack again here definitely can't rest on their laurels footwork trouble in this wolf pack team at the moment Lider up to his feet and here's Baharol well, I'm not sure that who that was aimed for. It's picked up by the wrong numbered, wrong named Hamish Barnes.
Feather. And, oh, it's a bit of a fumble in face of what was coming his way. And here's Kay collecting from Worthington's pass. Kay doesn't want to go down with the ball. He's, <laughs> he's having a fight here. He's having a fight, him and Feather. Oh, they don't like each other. And eventually the referee has to step in and he's given a penalty to Zoronta. Well, he did do a little bit too much here. James Feather just did a little bit too much. I understand the aggression, I understand. I think it's a, the right call here. I think Kay's trying to get on with the game. He's half beating somebody, he's half beating another person. Feather's trying to put him to the ground, quite, quite put him to the ground. He's still gold of his shirt and just a bit too much there. And uh, Feather's being called out for a talk. Can't do that, sir. Didn't do anything, man. Penalty gone against him. Ryan Braley with the, uh, the kick to touch, and uh, Toronto will start 40 metres away from that Keithley line. Sidlow. Jacks on the field wants it played quickly. Place of Bezik. Bezik getting a, a well earned rest at the moment. Here's Bussy. Just seems to have one direction and one intent on his mind every time. Just hits it into that line of defenders as hard and as quickly as possible. And a second attempt to pull him down has given the Wolfpack another penalty here. It's gone against Mike Emmett. Enjoying his first season here at Keithley, having been signed by uh, Coach Lingard. As Jake Emmett. Reese Jacks. Oh, it's gone behind Wallace. It's gone backwards, the referee says. Yeah, Two it did go yep. No arguments there. Jacks, Wallace. Clobbered. You can hear the tackle there, the effort coming in from Brendan Rawlings as he made that tackle count. Jack stands at dummy half, he's had a little glance left and goes right, and Sidlow now, stoutly forward again, honest endeavour. Still a couple of tackles in the bag here, Jacks. Bradley, Wallace, quick hands, oh, Ooh. almost a knock-on opportunity, knocking for Davy Dixon, had he caught it? Oh, it's a zero here. tackle, it's, it's Hall who's picked it up. Keithley have to respond quickly. And a penalty again. They're really hurting Keithley, these penalties. I think the referee's going to give a team warning you here, is he? He's having a word with Feather. I think Feather might have had a word with him, I think that's why. That's what it is, all right. The old Cameron Smith approach. Referee the game from, uh, from the number nine shirt. Another set of six here, for what it's worth, because that ball's been knocked down. So the tackle count now starts from here. And uh, Keithley with a lot of work to do. The Wolfpack, 10 metres away. Emmett in and down. Jacks up a dummy half. Sidlow's run round to that left-hand side. Briley with a short pass. Bussy looking for the hard work route to the try line. Jacks again. QLT, quick hands, too quick, picked up. Now we know this lad's quick, but he's not allowed to get in his stride there, Aronson, because Kay had him. They want a penalty, they've not got a penalty. It's taken on again here, a stride or two by David Ixon. And Keithley survived that spell of pressure really well. Well, it was a poor finish. They had a lot of pressure there, the Wolfpack. They've got to make better use of the ball than they have. Feather. Scott Law's back on the field. Trey O'Sullivan is the man who's gone off. A little, there's the mouse trap play from dummy half. Hawkyard, Feather, big hurl to that left hand side. Shepherded towards the touchline. The Wolfpack want to get them out there. They Looking have well got there. them out. Good defense. That was a good D. Needed to be as well. Keithley. Testing every facet of this Wolfpack defence at the moment, aren't they? They've stayed in the contest here today, haven't they? We've, we've seen it often, 
Teams uh, giving Toronto a real battle, but then fading away. But Keithley, so far, staying in this. There's still 12 minutes left to play. How much fuel have they got in their tank? Well, I think the beliefs there, the way they're playing, the way they're throwing the ball around, and running out of dummy half. He's happy to take a breather here. Get some. Uh, it is a warm day, though, as you've quite rightly pointed out. You know, yeah. we haven't mentioned that too much. He will take its toll on both teams. And seasonably warm for this uh, this part of the world. <laughs> Briley puts it in here, and we get underway again. Oh no, we don't. Oh, we don't. Referee's not happy with the scrum. Has to be clean. Has to be tied up. So Ryan Briley can have another go. He'll just stick it into the back row. There he goes, stick it into the back row. So. And off they go. It's Wallace with a step. Just, uh, challenging that Keith Lee defence right from the off. Jackson at dummy half again. Shifts it to this left-hand side. Oh, and they dropped the ball. Dropped the ball clean. Worthington looks at the referee appealingly. The referee is not going to succumb. And there's another little chat going on here between Feather and Worthington. Well, looks to me like he dropped it. Yep. Yep. He dropped it cold. Fooey Fooey is on the field. Taking his time to get to the scrum here. So Keith Lee with a great chance now. And Toronto knowing that they need to measure up, they've got to keep this concentration. They've already given a penalty away. The man pushed off the ball, so penalty for Keithley. 40 metres out, remember they trail by eight, they have to score twice to win it from here. And back on the field comes Nathan Conroy, and that alters the dynamics because as the big fellas begin to tire, we've seen how zippy Conroy can be from dummy half, so that just gives another little perplexing thought and conundrum for Toronto to deal with. So I think a word with the, uh, is it the two captains here? Brandon Rawlings and Craig Hall. He's got his back to us, so we can't let read, but what are you guessing he's saying here, Brandon? Well, I think the game's getting a bit scruffy. Does that make sense? And a, and a bit angry. And I think he's trying to take the heat out of the situation, the referee. So here we go, what a set this is. Conroy with a tap, in by Sagar, 10 metres away. Conroy fresh from his long rest on the bench. It's with Brooke to, uh, to Scott Law, who's just beyond 10, just within the 10, I should say. Conroy again, waits patiently. There's nothing offering for the dummy half in that position. Brooke again, drops it inside for Sagar, Sagar is dealt with so they've gone right now will they go left again they do the harold the harold's kick early in the can already testing and a oh, finnegan oh and they couldn't get there either well the referee wow. has given head and feed for toronto in the end but finnegan with a That's real a great chance. leap wasn't he just oh. couldn't quite hold it in could he he's got the jump on johnny powell as you'd expect in that situation with the attacking winger he gets up, he gets up, he just can't bring the ball in, so smart kick. So that's a set that goes a begging and with the clock ticking down. They won't get too many more sets here. Keith Lee, panels getting a bit of treatment on that far side. Game's held up again. He's OK now. So in goes the ball, out it comes. Kind of attitude is displayed by both sides here now because Keith Lee are desperate to keep Toronto penned down there. The Wolfpack looking to charge their way out of trouble. Next score, if there's to be one, will be massive. Toronto score next, they win it. Keith Lee score next, who knows who wins it. Seven to go.
Jax goes left. Worthington inside the 40. Advancing with Menace, but with only two plays left. Jax, Emmett, shoulders it in and offloads, and there's Jax, and Jax is reined in. Well, what a great offload that was from the big man. Out of the tackle there, Emmett. Last play to go. Bussy delays the pass. QLT has a man in his face, Finnegan, and they've got to hand it over right there. Well, not a great end to a set there. Jack's got tied up, so he was there. Briley and Wallace were on the other side of the field, so it went to Bussy, who couldn't find a player there. So great defence from Keithley. Poor finish from the Wolfpack. Could be quite a finish to the game, though, because Keithley will wind themselves up at least six and a half minutes to go. Remember, that's not the official clock, so there'll be stoppage time to add on to that. At the bottom of your screen, it's Conroy. We're going to see another flash of inspiration from him before the game is out. He's looked sharp, hasn't he? They want a penalty, they're not going to get it. Emmett, oh, it's a poor pass. It is picked up by Brook, but there's nothing on for him. It's a wasted play, really. It's one tackle less to try and make an impact. Emmett, Mike Emmett. Conroy was a 40-20 attempt, but it's nowhere near where he wanted it no. to go. QLT will collect it and runs it back, and we know the danger there, and that's a pass away, but that comes Finnegan again. He's, he's, he's had his moments today, hasn't he, Vinny? Played Vinny, well, Vinny, hasn't Vinny. he? This guy's played well as well, QLT, hasn't he? Carried the ball well along with Liam Kerr from the backfield. Just not thinking about your man of the match before long as well. Here's uh, Emmett. Jax. Wallace. Dummy and a step. Still tackles in the back, but only a couple of them. Jacks again, busses to his right hand side. Off he goes again, looking to rip his way through and then gets a good offload. And Emmett now goes back to where the half hole had appeared, but it closes. Jacks. Briley. QLT's pass is on the ground, not the best for Pownall to uh, try and deal with, and again the set ends with Toronto rather tamely handing the ball over here, not testing that Keithley line. Not only you think a short kick would be applicable or some kind of offensive kick, but back in their defence, handing the ball over here. It's a, it's a difficult one for Bailey to deal with, first of all. It was, wasn't it? But he has dealt with it. We don't need to be too loose. Finnegan's going to have a go from uh, from dummy half and then uh, gets that pass away. And it's the man off the other wing, Davy Dixon. And he just flicks it out to Hawkyard, who's running all the way around the back of those defenders to see if there's a gap there. He bounces off Briley and here he comes again. Oh, you don't bounce off Fui. <laughs> you don't bounce off Fui. You stay down and you start counting stars. Three goal, Keithley inside their own half by a distance. Collected now by Conroy. Oh, and it's, it's a juggle by Sagar, just about keeps a hold. They've still got 50 yards to go. They'll be trying everything here. Well, it's all on the kick, I think. I don't think they'll go for the run, I think they'll go for the, the big spiral. It's, it's going to be high. Oh, but Harold! Oh, Moy Moy's done oh, really well, but they've kept it alive oh, here. Kept it alive. Riders with a pass. Here's Finnegan. Finnegan with a little kick back to the middle of the park. Oh, he's got that! Finney Finnegan scores! Oh my word! What a try that was! And what a finish we've got on our hands now! With at least three minutes to go! Finney Finnegan! Wow! That was sensational. Brilliant finish. No right to do this. Well, here's, there's the tackle. Last play coming up. What will they do? But Harold goes at the line, decides to take it on. That's that's made probably forward, but they're off. Finney Finnegan down the sideline. No right to do this. Great little chip kick on the fly. I have to say, that's great skill, isn't it? That is, at that pace, I mean, the chip, he might do that another hundred times and not come up with that result, but who cares? 
Vinny Finnegan. And we start to think again about an upset here. 22-26. Kick from the touchline. But Harold puts this over. The gap's only two points. A slender penalty would be between these two sides. But you suspect Keithley would have to score a try again. Whatever they have kicked the goal. It's 24 points to 26. Toronto might be teetering. What have they got now? Vinny Finnegan has set this match alight. Hasn't he just? Great finish, flying down the outside. Puts his toe on the boot. Who knows what's going to happen? He does. He's going to score a try. Great celebration. So here we go. A minute and 20 plus stoppage time to play. Keithley on the verge. Toronto cannot afford to lose again. Yeah. One point clear at the top at the moment. They want to take that three point cushion back with them to Canada. Can they hold on? Well, there'll be short kicks, trick kicks, trick plays. You can imagine everything at the back end of this set from Keithley. Conroy taken in by Bailey. He's put down into the last minute of normal time, but stoppage time to come. Remember, that's not the official clock. Well, I think they're setting up for a kick here. Picked up by Conroy. Well, that's not in their plan. That wasn't in their script. Here comes the six, but Harold will just chip it downfield. He's looking for touch, is he? Yes, it goes out of play. So Toronto will get it back here. But what a set of six in defence this you can expect well, from but, Keithley. They'll throw everything at the wall. They're looking to force an error here out and get the ball back. Wow, what a game we've had. It has been terrific. Absolutely terrific. Toronto's first competitive match in this country was a, a blood and thunder affair in the mud at Siddle. Halifax in the cup when one try did it scored by Ryan Burrows their last game this year in England is another blood and thunder affair but this time in the sunshine do they hang on here or have Keithley got their number K will pick it up runs it out looking for yards determination required here Emmett they got a penalty. A oh, it's a penalty, and it's a costly one for Keithley. It runs down the clock, and it gives Toronto another set of six inside their opponent's half. I wouldn't say they needed it, but maybe they needed it. It was that kind of game, that kind of tension that Keithley have created here today. Well, the ball's out of play. Brian, you've got to start thinking about a man of the match in the last few seconds of the game. There's the drive. 20 metres out. Bezik. Bezik's put down. Out goes Jax. Here's Emmett. Emmett put down, less than 10 away. Jax again, they're taking their time here. Back to Briley. Wallace, QLT, steps inside. QLT still going. Cross to the other side of the field. Couple of tackles to go here. Toronto looking to finish it. Bezik looking to finish it. Bezik's claiming it. Now he's held up. They've got to go back 10 metres. The job ain't done yet. Two minutes of stoppage time play. Keithley desperately won that ball back. Toronto desperate not to give it to them. Brierley. Wallace. With a kick, taken in, the, what kick. a good kick that was. Aronson, always favourite to well, get there. Well, there's a lesson there for the Wolfpack. They, they haven't finished sets particularly well today. There's going to be a short dribbly kick, if I'm, I'm not no mistaken here, Keith, because they need the ball back. But that finish to a set is as good as any. After he stops the clock. A little bit of uh, on-field servicing being done. Roy 
Rawlings just uh, tapping up the fingers, making sure that uh, they stay on his hand before the match finishes. Worry about them on the hooters gone. Stick them on for the time being, physio, thank you. What's going through his mind at the moment? Manny Bahara, what trick has he got? Up his sleeve here. Well, it has to be a short kick. They want the ball back. They had either chip it high or and try and get the ball back on a little grubber kick in between the, the four Toronto defenders at the front there. Well, here it comes. He's going to go long. Looking and hoping that um, there's a knock on here. That's uh, that's the only thing they can hope for now. As Bussy takes it in. There won't be any offloads attempted in this set of six, you wouldn't think. <laughs> Here's Kay. Who knows what kind of uh, occurrences take place with the adrenaline running as high as it is at the moment. Emmett now just puts that ball up his up his jumper and drives it in. Jax. Besic. Again, just that honest endeavour. Jax goes right. Briley. Bussy. Five gone, one play to go in this set. Keithley desperately wanting it. Briley with a little kick through. It's uh, collected by Hawkyard on that far side. He was heading ominously towards the wing of Finnegan, but he stopped well. Do or die now for Keithley. Five tackles in which to make a little bit of local history here. Make that four and 80 yards to cover. Is there a hero in their ranks? Can Toronto hold out, see the job through? It's the winger Kay's dropped back because he was expecting a kick, I think, but it stayed in the middle. And because he's dropped back, there's a bit of space here for Hamish Barnes to run in, but Kay comes up quickly and covers the gap. Now it's Conroy. Keithley, the Harrell with a kick, looking for the penalty, has got the penalty. Well. You can say with 100% certainty that Baharal was hoping for that and he has got a kickable penalty 35 metres out. Do they go for glory or go for the two? I think Feathers indicating they want the two. A draw is what they want. They're going for a point here, Brian Noble. Yeah, I think it's the right decision. Make a big difference in the, the chase to get in the top five for the playoffs. It may or may not be the last kick of the game. Craig Lingard, oh, he cannot watch, he cannot watch. Well, he hasn't missed one all day, has he? He's top goal kicker. You've just put the jinx on him there now, haven't you? Matty Baharel. The roofs will come off the various stands around Cougar Park if this kick goes over. A few thousand eyes focus on Matty Baharel, who's put the ball over the bar, between the sticks, and over the stand for good measure. It's 26 points apiece, and still we play on. There's the hooter. That tells you what it means, that the superstars of Toronto have come to Keithley. But Keithley have taken a priceless point. Could be huge for the...